Good afternoon, everyone. I am Lucha FM, as always. Hello. Um, you'll know me from my football manager content with the great Rafe Rovers, up the Rafe Rovers. Um, but basically, today, what I'm going to start doing is a series on YouTube of a game that some people might know called TEW 2020. Now, for people who don't know what TEW 2020 is, it's basically um, a wrestling simulation management game. So it's basically the football manager version. It's the wrestling version of football manager, basically. Um, and I'm going to do a YouTube uh, exclusive series for that. Now, I'll explain a bit more about that in a minute. But basically, the reason why I'm doing that is I used to put my Twitch replays on YouTube for the people who might want to watch it. But it wasn't really getting many uh, much watch time. It was getting a few views, but not for very, like most people watching it for like 30 seconds. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to start a series exclusively for YouTube and it's going to be a nicely edited video twice a week, maybe three times a week if I can fit it in with my other stuff. And um, it's basically going to be yeah me managing. Uh, I'm going to create a promotion, but I'm basically, because Fight Club Pro I don't think is in existence anymore. Um, I used to go to Fight Club Pro shows in Wolverhampton, um, Basically, Wolverhampton in the in the UK. Now, for for people who don't know where that is, it's it's near Birmingham. Um, if you if you don't live in the UK, basically Wolverhampton's very close to Birmingham, UK. Um, and I used to go to the shows because I was local, so I used to go there, and I used to I've watched some very enjoyable wrestling there. It was a good atmosphere. We all had a good time. It was it was great. Uh, unfortunately, Fight Club Pro, like a lot of UK promotions, went under after the. Uh, the scandal and all that lot that happened, um, and rightly so, obviously, because unfortunately there was a lot of women um, getting abused. So yeah, so it's but it's picking up a little bit now the UK scene, I think. But there's still a gap in the market for a uh, a good. I mean, I I could be wrong, but a good promotion based in the West Midlands. Uh, I'm I'm a bit out of touch when it comes to local wrestling by me because I haven't been to a wrestling show, local wrestling show in ages, uh, in years. So, but yeah, so basically what I want to try and do is resurrect Fight Club Pro under new management. I still have, you know, try and get some of the old wrestlers in there that, that, that didn't basically disgrace themselves uh, and try and build a promotion if possible with local wrestlers in the area. Um, so Wolverhampton's a very diverse place. So... That will will reflect in my roster now. For people who don't know, if I'm play TW, um, what I'm going to do is what they call local to global challenge. So I'm going to start with um, the a small local local promotion which I've created myself. I'm going to start with the smallest budget possible um, and basically try and and make it as hard as possible for me. So that way I become a better player from T uh, playing TW now. I'm not expecting miracles. I'm probably not going to end up becoming a global sensation. It may take a long time, but I'm willing to put the work in as long as it entertains you lot. So, yeah, so starting today, I will be doing a, like I said, a TEW 2020 video, starting with Fight Club Pro, um, and then basically see how I get on with that. But, yeah, so I'll uh, I'll be back in a, in a second with, and I'll show you, how to create a promotion, and I'll go through the process of creating Fight Club Pro. Um, yep, yeah, so just bear with me, I'll be back in a minute. Right, and we're back. So that's the introduction done. Um, and what we do now is we go to begin game. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of India and Australia so it doesn't bog the game down with too much. I'll just call this Fight, Fight Club Pro FCP for short. We'll go start game. We'll just load this up. Uh, for people who haven't played this game before, this is what you do. And then when this is done in a minute, uh, I'm looking forward to this. So so I'll probably post a video probably two or three times a week. depends on stuff because I also record videos for Football Manager every day and also Twitch stream two or three times a week. So I might Twitch less and concentrate on YouTube a bit more, I don't know. But uh, but yeah, this is what you do here. So you can create as many players as you want, but unfortunately this game isn't a multiplayer game online, which is a shame, because I think this 
it would open this game up to become more popular if you could play it multiplayer online. But I think the people who create this game, Adam Ryland and his team, uh, they're very limited in the software that they use. But I understand that it probably cost an absolute fortune to use better software, and they're they're a niche uh, product, so their funds are limited. It's not like Football Manager, who have so much money because the amount of people who buy Football Manager every year is ridiculous. But um, yeah, which is a shame, really, because this is a really it's a good it's a, it's probably the closest thing you're going to get to a wrestling version of Football Manager. So it needs more uh, more love. So. I'm going to be, <clears throat> I'm not going to be Conor McGregor for damn sure. So I'm going to be my, uh, I'm going to be Brian Quinn from Impractical Jokers, the TV show. Um, he's a big wrestling fan. So I'm going to start as reputation as lowest. And then I'm just going to do user talents. I'm just going to do jack of all trades. I don't think I did that right, did I? There we go. Jack of all trades. And then preferences. I'm going to basically do it as standard so um the only things i'm going to untick oh it's all right yeah so these are things i don't want to do i don't want to have to pre-book everything um let me just go through these actually first to make sure enable new style um, i think everything right enable dirt sheet as well i don't know what pro mode is but we'll enable it just in case uh we'll do that We'll do that as well. We'll leave these. Uh, we'll leave that. We'll use that one. Because we'd like I said, we want to try and make it as hard as possible. So that's what we'll do here. Uh, we'll put yeah for now. Right. So this is how we create the character. And then we're just going to play player's character. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then what we're going to do here is start as unemployed. Um, continue. Right, so here's what we do now. Is we click on start own company. And then I'm going to find the Fight Club Pro. I'm hoping that it's already on here. Uh, hold on, if I type in fight. Oh. Fight, there we go. Fight Club Pro, there you go. So I prefer that logo. It reminds me of Palm Angels, um, the brand. So we'll go with that. So we'll type in Fight Club Pro. I'm hoping it'll just let us do this. I'm hoping it doesn't say there's already a promotion in database because there isn't. Uh, we'll just, oh, Fight Club Pro. And then we'll just do the standard. We'll just do Fight Club Pro. Don't hope there yeah, because it's a UK company. We'll do UK. And then we scroll down here. Try and find Midlands. So there isn't like there's an East Midlands and West Midlands. So like for people in, who don't live in the UK, there's an East Midlands and West Midlands, and Wolverhampton, where Fight Club Pro used to do their shows in, is in the West Midlands. But because there's only a Midlands here, we're just going to put Midlands, and then Home Arena. Uh, if I can find one in Wolverhampton, there you go, Wolverhampton. Uh, we'll just put Wolverhampton, West Midlands. So, and then what we're doing initially is we're going to do monthly and we're going to have it on rock hard. So, yep. So basically we've only going to have 2,500 available. So it is going to be, we've got to make sure that we make our shows as good as possible. Now, when it, when I describe Fight Club Pro, it's a bit of, it's sort of like AEW in a way. It's kind of like sort of a AEW, sort of PWG. It's it's sort of a bit of comedy, a bit of hardcore, a bit of high flying, a bit of tag team. Uh, it's like a bit of everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the AEW product for now because we can alter it as we go along. So uh, so we'll save that and we'll start the company like that. So as you can see, we've only have. 2,500 available. So uh, we've got a show in 20 days. So I've got to find a roster of wrestlers for for as cheap as possible that are local-ish. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to offline, I'm going to have a little look and I'm going to try and find 
enough to get um, some announcers, if possible, some referees, some road agents and some wrestlers with what I've got. So I'm really I'm going to be scraping the barrel here, but we'll hopefully we can build money slowly and we can take it from there, really. Uh, and I'm definitely going to be making mistakes because I've never done it like this before. So we're going to learn with our mistakes. So, yeah, so I'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode. And we're back. So um, basically, I've managed to get the wrestlers in. Um, I've somehow made three hundred and thirty-two pounds, but I can't. I've got no idea why. Um, someone let me know in the comments section. But yeah, so basically, I'll show you the roster, and we'll do it. We we'll do we'll do it one bit at a time. So what I'll do is I'll do the rolls. So if we go work our way back up, so we do road agents. So I'll just let you know who we've got as road agents. So I've um, hired Alex Shane, Doug Williams, Johnny Kidd, and Thomas Chamberlain um, as road agents. Thomas Chamberlain can also be a ring announcer, color or color commentator. I think it's color commentator, and he can either do announcing or so he's a jack of all trades um luckily so because obviously i had to be careful how many wrote like staff members i have so yeah uh referee so we've got chris roberts we've got joel allen and we've got shaper so joe joel allen and shaper so um were fight club pro referees back in the day um so yeah so we only need about three referees ideally i mean fight club pro back in the day they only have two referees i think um and then who I did, what did I just click on there? Colour commentators, yeah. So colour commentators I've got Danny O'Black, who can also be a manager as well. Uh Danny Garnell and obviously Thomas Chamberlain. And announcers. I've got Alex Shane who can do it, Daryl Mills and Cultaholic favourite, Tom Campbell, who's a good egg. So I think Tom Campbell will probably be my main announcer with Alex Shane and maybe Danny Garnell or Dehelia Black. I haven't decided yet. Uh, let's just click on, click on manager, see if I've got anybody. So Chardonnay, who I've got as a female, one of the female wrestlers, she can also be a manager as well. So can Dehelia Black. So um, eventually I will hire some more managers when I've got the money to do so. And then we'll do wrestler now. And we'll, what we'll do, we'll do female roster first. So I've got Aaliyah James, who we all remember from NXT UK. Uh, Candy Floss as well, who was in there briefly. Uh, Chardonnay, who I've already mentioned. And then we've got Charlie Evans, Danny Luna, Ginny, Lena Austin, Martina, uh, Session Moth Martina, if everybody remembers. She was also uh, a mainstay of Fight Club Pro. And so was the next one, Millie McKenzie. Uh, and then there's Nina Samuels and Sadie Gibbs as well. So I feel like we've got quite a versatile, it's small, but versatile women's roster. Um, and then what we'll do here is male, role, wrestler. There we go. So um, I hired, just let you know, I, I'm trying to, I've not got many tag teams, but I've got like a couple, I think, because I've got Jim and Lee Hunter. Uh, and then I've also signed Amir Jordan, Ashton Smith, who were obviously in NXT UK back in the day, Connor Mills, um, Derice, uh, Derice, I think that's his name, Derice, Derice, I think that's how you pronounce it, Drew, Par Drew Parker, who was part of Fight Club Pro for a bit, uh, Elijah, who I've seen live wrestle at Fight Club Pro, he was just starting off when Fight Club Pro were uh, at, towards the end. Uh, Jack Stars, who I've always rated as a good technical wrestler, um, good babyface wrestler as well. So he is a former NXT UK wrestler as well. Obviously Jim Hunter. And then we've got Joe Nelson, who, from what I remember, is Kid Lycos. So we're going to do that. Try and, what I'm trying to do is try and get a couple of mass wrestlers like him. And then there's Lion Kid as well. So hopefully in, in the like a real-life situation we'd be able to make money on merchandise through masks. So yeah, Lee Hunter, Liam Slater, 
uh, Lion King, who I already mentioned. Luke Dragon Phoenix is like a veteran wrestler. Um, I actually briefly went training um, many, many years ago, and he was one of the guys that were just breaking out with um, Rockstar Spud, Dave Mastiff, uh, Jack Storm. So I was in a training class with them, um, and they all went on to do relatively well, uh, especially Rockstar Spud and Dave Mastiff and that. So, yeah. Uh, Luke Jacobs, who was also, I think, from what I remember, was just starting off at Fight Club Pro when I stopped going. And then we got we got Mark and Thomas Billington, um, the Dynamite Kids' sons. So they will be a tag team. I think they're his sons. I don't know. Uh, we got Michael Oku, who is obviously getting a lot of rave reviews lately. He had a couple of amazing matches against William against William against Will Ospreay. Uh, we got Morgan Webster in. Omari, who was, uh, he shouldn't be a heel, he should be a baby face. Um, yeah, so he was a, a wrestler who just come into Fight Club Pro um, and he was getting a bit of a push and he even beat Keith Lee in a match. So, yeah, um, Sam Bailey as well. Uh, Shea Purser is a referee but can also occasionally wrestle. And then I've got a guy here called Tiger Ali um, because where I'm doing the save is based in Wolverhampton and there's a big Asian community in Wolverhampton. So Caitlin's trying to cater towards them. And then obviously I signed um, TK Cooper as well. He was a pretty good wrestler. Um, tagged with Travis Banks back in the day. They were a good tag team. So yeah, so there's that. So let's have a look at the... Let me just keep an eye on... Uh, right, let's have a look at that. See if you can see that first. You can, that's all right. So we've got no, there we go. So we've got the talk, the talk. So at the moment, we haven't got any franchise players or anything like that. Uh, Martina's the best on the mic. We've got Kenny Williams, who I forgot to mention, sorry. Uh, TK Cooper, Darius and Chardonnay. Uh, no Chard no showstoppers or anything like that. Hidden gems, maybe. So we'll look to maybe sign some of these down the road when we've got the better finances. But yeah. Uh, let's have a look at tag teams. There's no tag teams here, but we can add some, I think. Oh, we've got quite a few, actually. Um, so we've got Tiger Alley and Billington that can be a tag team. So I'm just going to... Uh, we'll call them the Decent Society or something like that. And then we've got this one here called Destination Everywhere. Uh, we'll add them. And then Medusa Complex, which is Charlie Evans and Millie McKenzie. I forgot they were a tag team, actually. So we'll have them as a unit. Sometimes we'll probably have intergender matches as well, so it might be worth... They might end up getting into the tag team scene. Um, Hunter Brothers. From Tiptoon in the West Midlands. Um, whenever the Hunter Brothers wrestle, everyone would just chant... Two, two, like that. Um, it was quite funny. And then we got the dynamic duo, which is the Billington boys. And then we got the South Pacific power couple, which is TK Cooper and Dahlia Black. They probably won't really wrestle that often together. Uh, while I'm at it, I will put I will put Dahlia Black as his manager. I might have to make sure, right, reset this. And then Dahlia Black. So she's a heel at the moment. Uh, I might turn, I'll probably turn TK Cooper as a heel, to be honest. He's more suited as a heel. Right, so there you go. So there's that. And then I did titles. So we've got the heavyweight title and the... Sorry, um, the Fight Club Pro Tag Team Titles. I will probably add a women's title uh, for the next episode. I forgot to do it. So we'll have a look at figureheads. They're not, there's nobody that they reckon should be a figurehead yet. Uh, let's do announcers then. So right, I'm just keeping an eye on what you can see because the software I use, it doesn't always show you everything. So I just want to make sure. So we have, we have Tom Campbell and then we have... Maybe down, 
yeah, let's have a look. Um, Alex Shane. So we'll try these out and we'll see how we get on with them. Obviously, we're not going to get the best ratings in the world because we haven't got the best wrestlers or announcers or staff. So we've just got to make do. Um, and what I did as well is I edited the, the set 12 events they give you when you set up the promotion. And I've edited them in to actual real life. Um, yeah, real life events that happened in Fight Club Pro back in the day. So, yeah, as you can see. Wrestle House, and then the two big ones are from what I remember just doing it. There was one in April, so Infinity is going to be a big WrestleMania type show, um, three hours long. Most of these events are two and a half hours long. This one's going to be three hours long. It's going to have a special set, uh, minor celebrity and everything. And then there's one in, I think it's June or July. This maybe this one. No, I think is it this one? Let me just click on it. Uh, no, it's not this. It's not that one. So is it this one? I can't remember. Was it Project Mayhem? It might be Project Mayhem actually. No. So is it Techers? It's one of them, unless I forgot to do it. No, it's this one. It's Techers. So you can't see it on my screen. Um, just don't worry about it. I'll show you near the time. But right. So that's that. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to show you before I carry on. Da, da, da. No, I think that's it. Oh, I, I'm production. No, not production. Merchandise I've changed slightly to rapid. That's may that may be why I've got the increase in money just now. Uh, finances. Current finances are two thousand eight hundred and thirty-two. Uh, let's have a look at viewer. So. We're we're estimated to get two thousand two hundred twenty six in sponsorship, um. So that's to do with like our popularity and stuff. And then, and then expenses isn't too bad at the moment, but that's before we take into account the cost of the wrestlers. They are on paper appearance deals. Um, I wanted to sign a couple of the, the other former Fight Club Pro wrestlers like. Dan Maloney and stuff like that and Chris Brooks but they just wanted too much per appearance so I just can't afford that at the moment maybe that'll be a, a situation down the road uh, let's have a look at ticket prices no I think that's it so what I'm going to do now is I'll be back in a minute with and we'll book our first show and we're back um, I managed to skip ahead to our first show so um Wolverhampton is the location. Um, I couldn't find the exact um, place where they used to run the shows for Fight Club Pro. So it will just be Wolverhampton in general. Um, so we've got 150 minutes long. So that's two and a half hours. Um, the show must be between 112 and eight, 188 minutes. You must book, book at least... 112 more minutes to proceed so as you can see on here we don't need to do any angles so it's just strictly matches which is so much better than what I wanted so um, yeah so this is what we're going to do so we're going to do we're going to throw all the women in there actually I need to do it by face and heels don't I so there you go nice and easy so we've got Aaliyah and we'll put uh, with Martina, I think. And then we'll have Danny Luna and. Yeah, hold on. No, 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 no. What am I doing? Yeah, sorry. I got confused there. Right, yeah. And then we'll go heels. And we'll do Ginny and Aaliyah, I think. No, Ginny and Nina. There you go, so that's the first match, and we'll do 20 minutes. We'll keep it simple for now. We'll do the open match. There you go. Uh, next one, we'll do a four way men's singles match. Male, we'll do two baby faces, two heels. So we'll go Amir Jordan 
Ashton Smith, and then we'll go two heels, and then we'll go Joseph Connors, I think, and TK Cooper. So there you go. Put that like so. We'll do twenty-two minutes in that one. Open match, decisive win. Right, so how long how much have we done? What we've done so far? So we've booked 49 minutes so far. So let's keep going. We'll do a normal singles match. We'll do we'll make sure that we don't right. So we've got oh we've only got heels, so we can't do that one, I don't think. So we'll go male. Uh can we do tag team? We'll do a tag team afterwards. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, so we'll do... Oh, we can't do a tag team much anyway. Right. Uh, do... Liam Slater. Oh, we've got bloody... One Hunter Brothers, a uh, babyface who wants a heel. I need to change that. And we'll do Jack Stars. Open match, decisive win. Okay, so they're not happy about the match length, so we'll just change it to 20. No, okay, we need to knock that down a bit. There we go. All right, just need to change one of the Hunter Brothers to uh, Babyface before I start the next match. No, not, not him then. It's Jim Hunter in it. There you go. Right. Do a tag team men's match now. So we've got Dynamic Duo versus the Hunter Brothers. We'll have that for the tag team titles. I think I'm going to have the Hunter Brothers win this one for now. Uh, let me just check that the Billington Brothers are heels. Yeah. Let me just check if Thomas is a heel as well. Yeah, it's fine. Right. So the 90 minutes, we've just got to do another 100 and we're going to do another 22 minutes, so we'll just do this. Uh, we'll put Lion Kid in a match, I think. Lion Kid is a baby face. So we need a heel, male. There you go. We'll give Lion Kid the win. I'm just seeing you can it's all right for some reason then I didn't think you could see what I was seeing on the screen right let's have a look at this for a second you're penalized for not having any matches that are aimed for steal the show okay so we've got to have one more match to steal the show so who are we gonna have in the main event male baby faces first so we go Kid Lycos 2 versus. Uh, we might have to do a babyface versus babyface one then. Oh, I'll tell you what, we can turn Kenny Williams heel before we start the show. And we'll do 25 minutes for that. It's the main event. Where does it say? St where's still the show here? See, so yeah, there you go. Still the show. There we go. Open match, decisive win. Then what we'll do is we will allow high risk maneuver, allow spinal impact maneuvers. So like so. Oh okay. So we've got to maybe take the match down a bit. Try twenty. No. 
Hold on then. Let's knock this down. 15. There you go. Right, I just need to turn Kenny Williams heel. Let's be honest, he is better as a heel than he is as a as a baby face, from what I remember him on the NXT UK. We'll just go with cocky, it's easy to do. There you go. Right, so that's that. Look, I mean, look at his face. He's even got a cocky face about him. Right. Um, right, we just need to do some storylines, I think, quickly before we forget. So we can do Kenny Williams versus Kid Blycos as a storyline. Um, in fact, that could be for the... We could have that as the... Oh, for God's sake, I've done it completely the wrong way here. I've just realised this. Right, push this up here. And what we'll do, we'll put it, we'll put this for the Fight Club Pro Heavyweight title as well. Yeah. We're going to have Kenny Williams win this. So Kenny Williams, right. Uh... I think that's it. Oh, no, no, no. We'll do another story. We need to do a couple more storylines. Um, we'll do... Yeah, we'll do the dynamic duo. Uh, and storyline. Dynamic duo versus... Um, Hunters. Hunter brothers. Hunter bros. There you go. Uh, Mark. Ooh. Thomas. And then the gym. And then what we'll do is we'll add a female storyline and we'll do Ginny versus. Uh, hold on, let me check who we've got in the match first. Who we got in this match? Martina versus Ginny. There you go. Nice and easy. So, storylines, the storyline, Ginny versus Martina. Right, so that's three storylines set up so we won't get, because um, if we don't have any storylines, we get, first, um, we get like, um, uh, penalty for it, there you go, penalty for not having them. So, there you go, right. Let's see how this first show goes. I'm just going to save it first in case there's any errors. Not errors, um, crashes. Right, let's see how we get on. Let me just check. I'm definitely, you can definitely see that. Yeah, that's fine. So, our first ever match on our first show kicked off, and it was Lion Kid versus Doris. Got a 51 rating. Uh, Lion Kid only got a 39 rating. Doris is a better performer, 59. Uh, Thomas Chamberlain could have done a better job as road agent, which is fair enough. So the match got off to a strong start. So we do that. Um, Hunter Brothers defeated the Dynamic Duel to win the tag titles, the FCP Tag Team uh, Championships. Um, not much to tell you about. Thomas Billington was off his game. The match got the crowd hotter, so that's good. In a, ball, in a bout that had superb wrestling and decent reaction, Jack Stars defeated Liam Slater 15 minutes by submission, got a 50 rating. Uh, Liam Slater was off his game. The match was a little too short. So maybe not book Liam Slater that much. Maybe look to get rid of him, I think. Release him because his endurance is not good enough to have long matches. So in the long run, it's going to end up having a... An effect on the rating and stuff, but yeah, we'll see. Right, so nice victory for Jack Stars. Um, in the four-way match, Joseph Connors defeated Amir Jordan. Uh, sorry, Amir Jordan, Ashton Smith, and TK Cooper, and he pinned TK Cooper with uh, all she wrote. Uh, got a seventy-three rating, so that's good. Uh, Joseph Connors is a pretty good standout performer here by the looks of it. Amir Jordan, not so much. Ashton Smith's not too bad as well. 
So maybe I might look at Joseph Connors versus Ashton Smith as a storyline, maybe. In the tag team women's feud, um, match, sorry, we had Candy Floss and Martina defeat Ginny and Nina Samuels and Danny Luna and Lena Austin. So let's have a look to see if any of these women were... No, I was hoping that they would uh, have good chemistry and I could create a new tag team. We got to make sure we don't have Danny Luna and Lana Austin as a tag team anymore. Got a 69 rating though, so it's not too bad considering. Right, and in the main event, got an 82 rating. Jesus Christ, that was way better than I thought it would be. Um, Kenny Williams defeated Kid Lycos in 14 minutes, 44, uh, 40 seconds by pinball. And we have our first ever FCP heavyweight champion. So apparently it's a little too short as well. So if we did it a little bit longer, so maybe make note when I do steal the show, we might want to do it as a 30 minute match next time, but it's pretty good so far. So I can't complain too much. Uh, I just need to, do I need to do that? No. So apparently his new gimmick change is more marketable. Hold on, what was that last bit, sorry? Gives a large penalty to charisma during matches and angles. Okay. Right, sorry about that. There's an air there's a helicopter hovering if you can hear that. That's really good for our first show, a 78. I'm really happy about that. Um Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Increased our popularity in that region. So that's good. So we'll finish that show. But yeah, that's really good, that is. Quite happy with that. I didn't think it was going to be as good as that. Not bad for you. Not bad for my first show. Uh, yeah, Sadie Gibbs is not happy, but Sadie Gibbs is not happy because she we only just signed her and then she wanted. She wanted her wages to go from like £40 per show to £640 per show, which I am do I'm not doing it. So we're at, we're at after that show, we are £383 in, in debt, which ain't too bad. Um considering. Right, let's have a look at the uh finances. Why can't I find it? Am I blind? There you go, finance. So yeah, so the workers, so it cost us £4,190. So might be future might, in the future I might not book as many wrestlers on the show. There might just be single matches or one tag team match and then mostly single matches. Um, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. The other costs aren't too bad. Uh, we got one thousand eight hundred eighty five in sponsors. Ticket sales were four hundred forty eight. So we could do with maybe get, well the the more popular we get, the more tickets we sell. So we make more money that way. But not too bad overall. Uh, we've got 2% momentum, 0% prestige, but yeah, not too bad. So, and then we've got a next show in 13 days. So what I'm going to do is save that. I'm going to call it a day for this episode. Like I said, it's all new to me doing TW this way. I'm, I'm used to doing it on Twitch um, and talking to people while I'm doing it. So, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'll be back. In a few days, maybe it, with these, they're not, they're not going to be as frequent as for football manager content to start off with. So, um, I haven't got like a set day when I'm going to do them. It's just when I can fit them in the week. But trying to do, I'm going to try and do two a week and see how I get on with that. But yeah, all right, I'll uh, I'll be back soon with the next episode. And thanks for watching this. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comment section what you liked and didn't like about this episode. Um, I would appreciate the feedback. All right, thank you. Bye.